In this video, I will explain to you how to use the Blackboard Early Warning System so you can be notified when certain things happen in your course. If you scroll down to your course control panel, in the drop-down list for evaluation, you will see an option called Early Warning System. When the Early Warning System screen loads, this is the screen where you create what are called rules. The rules keep track of whatever you've specified in your course, and then if one of those rules gets tripped, you will be notified and then you can choose to do something about those students who tripped that rule. As you can see I have one rule created already. I've called this rule haven't logged into course in seven days. This is a course access rule and what this says is I would like Blackboard to notify me if any of my students don't log into my Blackboard course for seven days. What other types of rules can you choose? Well, the one I just explained to you is called the last access rule, where you set up to be notified when students don't log in for a certain number of days. Another rule you can choose is the grade rule. An example of this is if you make an exam and you would like Blackboard to notify you if a student makes below a 60 in that exam, that's what that rule is. Due date rule is a rule, for example, that you could use for assignments. Assignments that are created in Blackboard have a due date field on them and you can specify a due date that that, that that assignment is actually due. If a student misses that due date and doesn't turn the assignment in then Blackboard will notify you that they missed the assignment. So those are some examples of rules that you can create here in the early warning system. Let's go ahead and make another last access rule. I'm going to call this one haven't logged in in 14 days. And Blackboard will notify me if a student has not logged into my course in 14 days. I'll click the Submit button, and now I have my rule sitting here in my early warning system. But where will I be notified that a rule has been tripped? Well, to do that, you go back to your course main page. An easy way to do this, you go to your course main page, make sure that you have the Alerts module listed on your course main page. And in the Actions drop down list, click Refresh, and you'll be notified that something has tripped my early warning system. If I click the drop down list next to the rule, I can choose to dismiss it to where I don't see it again. If I click the drop down list on the left side, I can see that two rules have been tripped in my early warning system. I have students who have tripped the seven days, they haven't logged in in seven days, and I have students who've also tripped the 14 days they haven't logged in in 14 days. So using the early warning system you can set up rules and keep track of when those rules are tripped by going to the alerts module and on the actions drop down list clicking refresh. If you're done looking at your notifications in the early warning system you can click to dismiss all and it'll dismiss all of the alerts and warnings that are shown up in the alerts module. Another way to see your alerts and notifications is by going back to the early warning system and on the drop down list beside each item is a double arrow. If you click the double arrow and then click review rule status you will see a listing of all students who have tripped the rule. You can click the refresh button to refresh and see if any additional students have been added since the last time you looked at it. If you would like to notify this student that they tripped this rule and haven't logged in in 14 days, you can click the checkbox next to their name and click Notify. It is important at this point to mention that Blackboard will not do anything for you automatically. Blackboard will not notify students when a rule has been tripped on your behalf. It must be intentional and you must initiate the notification to the student. Again, nothing will be sent automatically on your behalf. In the drop-down list for notification, you can choose to notify the student, the observer, or the student and the observer. You can also choose other and specify an email address that you would like the notification to go to other than the student. What is the observer? The observer is a feature of Blackboard that we're currently not using. But here's an example of how you might use the observer. For every student in Blackboard, we have the ability to specify for that student who their observer is. For example, it could be a faculty member in their department who is their advisor. The advisor could be set up as the observer in Blackboard and then this notification could go to the student, to their observer, 
in this case the advisor, or to both the student and the observer. If your department would like to utilize this observer feature, please call the ITC and we'll begin that conversation to talk about how to implement that. Right now, I'm going to notify the student that they've tripped this rule and they haven't logged in in 14 days. If I click to notify the student, the next screen that will pop up is an email screen that I, and this is going to this particular student, I can choose to add additional recipients like their advisor or their department chair. If it's an athlete and the athletic director would like to be notified, you can notify him there. I can specify a subject and I can specify an email message. I click the submit button and the student will then get notified by whatever I just told them. So that's the early warning system and how you can keep track of things that happen in your course and how easily you can notify students once those rules have been tripped.